Hello everyone, so let's just jump straight into the review of the Z88. To start things out, most important thing, what are the switches? The switches are Cherry Mix knockoffs as you would expect, they're Otomil blue switches, they're very durable still, and they're a little bit more clicky and make a lot more sound, which I actually personally am fine with, and I think it's good for a budget build anyways. The company claims that this keyboard has anti-ghosting, and when I put that to the test, it actually works very well, so I'm actually surprised by that. Not really surprised as there's a lot of keyboards that are able to do this, but there's also a lot of them that don't, so it's good that they actually have anti-ghosting. At the bottom of the keyboard, there's four rubber pads to prevent movement, and it also has a kickstand so you can make the keyboard go at an angle if you like, and fortunately these guys actually put rubber on those things too, so it'll still not slip even if you're using the kickstands. At the bottom, since we're down here anyways, we might as well take a look at the cable, and what I really like is the cable is detachable like many expensive keyboards. Even though this one's under $50, it has a detachable cable. It's not USB Type-C or anything fancy, it is micro USB, but it's fairly long, it's detachable, and you're able to route it either through the back or the left and the right side of the keyboard depending on how you want to do your cable management. The keycaps are double shot injected molds with the outside being white or black and it has laser etching on the inside being a translucent white. I find that these keycaps are very smooth and the quality is pretty good but I do suspect they will break from a drop or something and you, you are able to scratch them easily with a knife although I haven't tried that. I think the text on the keys are very very easy to read although I do have to say the LEDs are only 50% as bright as Razer's Black Widow or Logitech's equivalent mechanical keyboards so if you really like a lot of bright keyboards then this one might not be that bright. Another thing to note about the RGB is this is not full real RGB it's just a few set colors that the company gives with the LEDs so you can't customize how exactly you want the color to be you can only choose from the presets but the presets are good colors and they're gonna match basically any setup. There are 10 color modes on this keyboard. A unison color across the whole keyboard, just solid. A breathing mode with a solid color. A what they call gaming mode, which lights up only the WASD, the arrow keys, and your escape key. A color spectrum. A single key lighting. Wave. Snake mode, ripple, surround, and of course you can turn them off. The lighting modes can be cycled through by holding function and pressing page down. Each of the lighting modes have different colors to choose from and different speeds. The brightness of the LEDs can be adjusted by hitting function up and down arrow, and the speed of the animations can be changed by pressing function left or right arrow, and you can also cycle through the colors by doing function equals or function minus. Now the keyboard is being listed as waterproof, however I really doubt that it really is, as all they really did was add holes at the top of the keyboard and at the bottom to allow water to drain through, but the water will still go directly onto the PCB and electrocute everything to break it, so it's not waterproof. If you're looking for a waterproof keyboard in this price range, you're going to have to look for a mechanical feeling keyboard. I have one linked down below that's actually washable, and you can even submerge the keyboard in water while it's on and still use it, so that one's fully waterproof. I don't know if it's better than the K68 though. So finally, the keyboard looks great and it functions well, and for $45, I'd say this is a good deal. It's not as good as a deal as Jellycomb's mechanical keyboard, but they discontinued that recently, so you're not going to be able to get that anymore anyways, unless someone's selling it on the used market. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.